Hello, love bugs. I am so excited that you are here with me today to announce the winners of my very first Paleo Shell Challenge. If you don't know what a shell challenge is, essentially what I did was create a shell of a house using a harvest house, a medium room with a hallway section above, then another small room with a hallway section and another small room. Competitors then built this exact replica of this house on their plot and designed it however they wanted. The sky was the limit. They could use any any furniture they wanted, any landscaping they wanted, any flowers, any fish, whatever they had to make the design of their dreams. Some of our competitors just uploaded photos to social media for a chance to win my big prize package that I'm going to be announcing the winner of today, while other people allowed me to go through and have a full house tour, take my own photos, and then judge them to win some prizes. So I am here to announce those winners today. Let's get to it. I'm so excited. Let's start with what is probably one of my most favorite awards of the night, which is the winner for most hilarious use of an item. And that winner goes to Smiles Kitsch. Smiles, I loved your entire build, but the fact that you not only made a restaurant, but then made all of your plushies, your customers for your restaurant is just hilarious and absolutely award worthy. Thank you so much for including me and in getting to visit your adorable little pal cat restaurant. While some of these awards were incredibly hard to judge, this is one of those awards that was real easy. For most luxurious design, our winner is Basil. Basil made an absolutely luxe, gorgeous, a city-like apartment build using the city chic items, and it just looked like the ritziest, realistic, beautiful house that I have ever seen. I almost felt like afraid to make a spill in there. Basil, you did a gorgeous job bringing luxury into Palea. So proud of you. This next award is another one that I found incredibly easy to pick the winner because every time I thought of the most magical design, the first thing that popped into my head was this gorgeous bathroom done by Artemis Louvre. An absolute tribute to Tamala and all of her magic. I seriously can't go on about how much I loved this bathroom more. From the trim design of the wood that kind of separated that magical design above with the tile down below, from the the plants and candles that are all mixed together, the big, beautiful, ancient fish. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations, Artemis. And I would absolutely stop by there to both do magic and take a bath. Our next award is for most realistic design. And of course, it had to go to Basil. Basil, again, your city chic apartment style design that you did with the big open floor plan absolutely felt like an apartment that I had been in New York City before, but with a little bit of rustic flair. I really felt like I was sitting into an, in an actual place from our world that you brought into the video game and created. I was so impressed by this build. I loved the mix of metallics and the mixes of the woods. It just truly feels not only rich and beautiful, but also like a realistic place. Congratulations, Basil! And from realistic to comfy, this is another one that was easy for me to choose because the most comfy design absolutely has to go to Loreldia. Loreldia, I am going to say this a few times, I think, in this recording. I wanted to live in your house. It felt like the coziest, most low stress, happy place. All of these builds were absolutely incredible, but yours felt like a place that I could go for serenity, for calm, for joy. I am just so incredibly impressed with what you did, but also the energy that you were able to capture that was completely different from every other build that I saw. Congratulations on making the getaway cottage of my dreams. I love you so much. It's so pretty. I'm going to be honest, when I created the awards and decided to do the most unique build, I thought it was going to be the absolute hardest one to award, and instead it ended up being the easiest, because Smiles Kitsch, your idea to turn the shell into a beautiful restaurant was so smart and so beautiful but truly the greatest part was how you executed it because just making a restaurant was one thing. You made a beautiful waiting space here with a menu for people to look at, a place for them to sit, a, a dessert stand for them to try desserts, awards in the corner for your restaurant. I am 
endlessly impressed with this build. I love so much about it, but it is definitely the most unique one that I saw. Uh, and I just cannot wait to see more builds from you. I think that your brain is just incredible. So congratulations on making the most unique build of this entire competition. This next award features one of my favorite design ideas I saw from the entire competition. And that is the best use of clutter award going to Artemis Louvre. This pantry, Artemis, I can't stop thinking about it. I have seen a lot of pantries in Palea, a lot of different designs, things that were really complicated. My own pantry has a big window in it. Something about the simplicity of this idea of just shelves and clutter, but that made it so flawless. Every piece of this puzzle put together is absolutely perfect. From the different colors that you stacked with the plates, the cornucopia on the bottom, putting barrels underneath, the wheat and flowers that are the reeds that are kind of coming towards the front as both decor and they almost look like an herb that I would pick or something I would pick to put on a plate. Uh, as well as the light you chose from the Kilima set, the wood paneling on the walls, it all is a flawless photograph and no one will ever convince me otherwise. This isn't only the award for best use of clutter. This is one of the best design ideas that I saw in this entire competition. Congratulations, Artemis. You definitely deserve this one. This next award for most unique use of an item was almost impossible for me to pick because you all had so many incredible ideas. But one item that I didn't really see used by anybody else and have never seen used in such a unique way was by our friend Smiles Kitch. Taking this little market place stand and putting it inside of your kitchen as like a display space for food was so smart. It made your restaurant space feel more like a restaurant. You could have easily taken this outside and put it in front to make it like, oh, it's a to-go window or something like that. To me, that would have been the obvious choice. And instead, you used it in this way, which was so smart and also the lighting that you did in this space and the color blocking absolutely beautiful congratulations you 100 percent deserve the most unique use of an item for thinking of using this in a hallway space i just never i was when i walked in here i was shocked congratulations you seriously crushed it this next category was probably, besides the top three, my hardest one to judge, which was the best use of plants. Oh, I know some of you really wanted this one as well. And I, oh my gosh, it was so hard. But I sat down and really thought, when I think of the best plant moment when I was touring those houses, which moment of plants is pops into my brain immediately? And I just knew that it had to be basil's planty happy bathroom the way that you arrange the plants in this space is so good and i love the real mix of stuff that you did I, I the rug also really ties everything together for me i like that you used a small light so everything feels very like ambient and like light i i feel i think if i climbed into that tub it would feel like i was in a rainforest i also love that you used the capital chic tub which tied in with the rest of your house but also the stone makes it feel more natural so being with the plants just makes sense uh, i love the herbs hanging above the tub i love the wood trim that you did on the windows and but what I, what most impressed me about this plant build is also just how it tied in with your very ritzy luxurious uh, design that you did it doesn't feel out of place because you used the right plants in the right way to tie in with that design so this I just couldn't stop thinking about this room and so it had to be the winner of best use of plants I said before that I was going to say this a few times in this video Loreldia, I wanted to move in to your house which is part of the reason why you have won the award for most livable design. I mean, just look at this space. It's absolutely stunning. It just, again, the energy that is captured within it is so amazing to me. I truly feel like I could walk through this hallway, climb into that tub, and just feel all of my stress absolutely melt away. Your home was comfy. It felt livable. I mean... Oh, I just absolutely, absolutely loved it. And that is why you win most livable design.
Now we're really getting into some of the awards that were so hard for me to pick. I mean, every single entrance that you all did was absolutely incredible. And honestly, I could have argued for any single one of you to be the winner. But one person kind of turned it up just that little hair of a notch more. And the winner of best entrance is Artemis. Artemis, this grand crazy large entrance that you did is just incredible the work that you had to do to a put your entrance at a different section of your plot and also to create this big long walk up with the bay windows in the back and the new lights that you had to work so hard to get before the timeline was done for the shell challenge i the, the way you place the trees like i'm seriously speechless like all of you did a gorgeous job on the entrances but there was some this one just it, it's powerful. I mean, like, let's let's just be real. This is why you won best entrance, because it's just a powerful entrance. It just is. Friends, the award for best use of color caused me one some of the biggest strain in this competition because you all used color so well and in such different ways. And I narrowed it down to two people. And then I was like, uh, how do I pick a favorite? And I really decided that it was by choosing the person that had used color in the most intentional way. It wasn't just that everything was really, really colorful and beautiful. It was that the color looked placed in a, placed in a way that was so incredibly intentional. And the color story spoke throughout the whole build. And that winner had to be Smiles Kitch. Smiles, not only was your restaurant space really colorful and beautiful, but the color blocking that you did throughout, even as you can see in the photo here, using using this uh tree wallpaper as kind of an accent wall but then with the purple that ties in with it and then mixing the green plants on both spaces i mean everything about your color build just felt very very intentional and the color blocking we saw in another photo that had the the white with the green and the blue and just it all was incredibly incredibly beautiful and it looked like a real painted place that a designer would design in that way if you said i want lots of color but you didn't want it to look overpowering or too much or unrealistic uh or like lisa frank but you wanted it to be beautiful that is what you did your build is absolutely stunning and the color tells a story and that is why you won best use of color we're wrapping up this first batch of awards before we get to our absolute champions with the one that was the hardest of all for me to judge, which was best landscaping. I was really looking for a landscaping design that wasn't just beautiful because obviously you could do anything you wanted on your plot, but if it didn't accentuate the shell itself, to me, it wasn't really part of the competition. Making it attached to the shell in a way was what made and and so that like you sought out windows and things that it felt like it was part of the shell is what made Loreldia our winner. Loreldia, I have been dreaming about the entrance that you did, specifically all these little candles and things, uh, The uh, combined with your bay window with the plants just outside that you can see here in this photo. Uh, ever since I saw this, again, the energy that you brought from the very start of walking into your home using this landscaping to the energy that you played throughout your entire space was unlike anyone else's in the competition. I'm so impressed with how you made Made, uh, the designs in Palea feel so homey and happy and I am absolutely stealing this landscaping design of using these candles one of the only places in the world that we could ever use candles like this in a video game <laughs> and going to be using this on my own plot I am absolutely obsessed with all the designs that you did and I think that you did a really wonderful job so thank you so much for sharing this design idea with me because I'm gonna steal it Congratulations to all of our winners in our minor categories. I'm so excited to announce the top three winners of overall best design. But before we do that, we have a giveaway winner to announce. So let's get to it. This really isn't the classiest way to record this, but um, I can't figure out anything else. And, and, and this took a lot of time. So this is how we're doing it. So here we go. Who is our winner of the prize pack? Who's it going to be? <gasps> Smiles Kitch! Congratulations! 
Chance, you have won a prize pack from me with all kinds of goodies, including some plushies and different Disney things and little uh, mini brand stuff. There's going to be all kinds of cute stuff in that little package. I'm so excited to send it to you, and I will be in touch. Alrighty, friends, there is no time like the present. Our top three winners for best builds. I made some cute little videos for y'all, and, and I hope that you like them. So let's get right into our third place winner. Congratulations to Loreldia on your third place win. Again, I can't say this enough about your build. It was homey. It had an energy unlike any other build that I saw. It's absolutely beautiful, and I wanted to move in to your house just warm and inviting and that is why you took home the best overall design third place congratulations in second place is artemis louvre congratulations my friend your build had so much incredible detail your use of clutter in spaces was completely and totally unmatched your absolutely stunning entrance was unlike any other in the competition i was so impressed with so many things about your build and i really can't say enough about how great it was and that's why you take home second place congratulations and that only leaves our first place winner Congratulations to Smiles Kitsch. Let me tell you, it was so hard to pick a first place, but at the end of the day, your unique idea to create a restaurant within our shell and truly make the shell shine in a way that no one else in the competition did is the reason why you are taking home first place. Congratulations. I am so proud of all of you. Thank you so much to all of you for going on this journey with me. It has been an absolute blast seeing all of the things that you've created and finding other amazing designs for myself. I'm so grateful for your friendships and also for your time that you put into the work of designing something just for this competition. Congratulations to Smiles for not only winning our prize pack, but for winning first place in our competition. And I cannot wait to do another shell challenge. Maybe sometime soon? Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.